Yo, what's up? Behind me here, I have the Nissan Leaf 62 kilowatt hour, and today I want to go on a road trip with it. So, you know, I've been several times down to Romstar, but uh, it's supposed to be nice and clear sky and also almost full moon tonight. And I feel like doing some, um, some time-lapse shots at night. Yeah, I think that's going to be great. So the car has been preheating and also charged to 100% and we are almost good to go. So I'm just doing the final preparations. So the thing is that in order to go there, we have to make the shots in the morning. So I also brought the sleeping equipment. Yeah, the car is full. Okay, I don't want to touch the, the rear gift, lift gate because it's so dirty, but I have a mattress with me. And all right, in here, ooh, always do this. The battery though, to my big surprise, is at 13 degrees Celsius. It's been just sitting still to, throughout the whole day. So we have 100%, yes. Uh, I guess I'll navigate. I'm not sure where to drive yet. I mean, where to charge yet, but uh, we can go pretty far with this car. So let's just get going then. We are now at Burger King and the Mayor Charter in Lillehammer. Well, we are here with 17%, so we've already been charging 3%. Here you see the stats. It, consumption was a little bit high, but uh, remember it was cold outside. So, all right. And uh, here is uh, Leaf Spy. Yeah, people who know Leaf, they know Leaf Spy. So we are charging now at 41 kilowatt. Hmm, not the fastest. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't complain. I think these plugs are supposed to give me 135 amp. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Huh. Yeah. So, how to read this information? Well, when the bar is here, it means that we are charging. If there's a, a, a on the orange bar, this side means that we are discharging. So, we are now discharging. I mean, charging at 42 kilowatt. Auxiliary is pulling 200 watt. That's probably for the screen and everything. This one is PTC heat to the pink one. PTC heat is pulling 250, uh, 250 watts plus the heat pump is 1.5 kilowatts. Here we have the battery temperature. Yeah, maybe the battery needs to be at 25 degrees in order to receive faster charging. I'm not sure, uh, but okay, okay. So the next stop will uh, be Dumbos. They will finally get to um, a faster charger. Well, one of the few ones. We have three more locations in Norway with these, these uh, Eon chargers. Yeah, okay, so you found it. Oh, yeah, nice. Let me see. Uh-huh, Tesla. Oh, okay, whatever. What? Huh? BKK, yeah, B uh, it's not BKK, but uh, close enough. So this, this car doesn't do any uh, on-route preheat or anything. So let's see now. Is it? Well, <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, I don't know if many people know about this, but uh, the car will estimate how many percent you will arrive with here, but only there one before you start navigating to it. And then once you are here, then you don't see it anymore. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of cold and a little bit windy. That wind, extra wind makes it chill. <laughs> so uh, these ones are not being replaced with the blue lights. That, that's the new uh, profile for, uh, for what well, used to be Grand Contact and then Mir. So they haven't, to my big surprise, they haven't re replaced these ones yet. It still says Grand Contact. And then in the old days, we used to have Marche over here, and now it's Burger King. And over there we see, well, let me see, yeah, huh, fun fact, you know that uh, a seven, no wait, eight years ago, when I first supercharged for the first, first time with Melende Falcon, it was over here. 
at the Tesla supercharger. So um, the first six superchargers in uh, Europe, they were in fact placed in Norway. What, what is that guy doing? You see, did he put a trailer there? What? What is he doing? Okay, whatever, yeah. So I don't have much to do here. I'm not hungry yet. I guess I'll go to the restroom and just chill for a bit. And a little pro tip, I mean, it's pretty cold outside, minus 10, is that uh, this car doesn't have any keep climate on or auxiliary heater, yeah, like this is a German autos. But uh, what you can do is quick, quickly, if you go here to EV settings, and then you can set up a climate control timer. And uh, it's a preheating schedule. You see, you can choose lots of settings here, which day it is, but um, since the car is pretty cold, uh, I mean, pretty warm already, normally it will start preheating half an hour before departure. But since the car is kind of warm-ish, then you want to, to set it to more, I mean, less than half an hour before. So for example, if I set it to eight, yeah, uh, then it might not keep it on, but at least if I set it some, to something close, let's say 50, all right, then hopefully, let me see now, if you stop the car, yeah, immediately you hear that, and you can also see it here, that it should fire up the, what? It should fire up the, the heater. Yeah, but you, another indication is that this one is blinking, so it means that it's active. So now we can go to the restroom and keep the car nice and warm. Alright, we're on the move again, and uh, yeah, you see that uh, over here, oh, no, <laughs> okay, okay, this one here, this section here. Uh, the battery is at 32, to, well, I, I look at the mid one, so it's around 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, Hopefully it will cool down because you know this car doesn't cold gate. It rapid gates. Minus 10, no problem. It will rapid gate. <laughs> it was actually starting to trot a little bit uh, now, but well, we reached 75%. So we'll see then. So it's Sunday uh, evening now uh, at 8 14. So there shouldn't be too much traffic, but I'm not hammering it too hard. I'm just taking it easy like a leaf driver. <laughs> At Dombos, finally, here we have the Eon Clever Chargers, 200 amp Chalamo. So let me show the stats so far. We have 10% left on the display. Uh, this is the previous leg from Lillehammer, and this is the no, no wrong one, wrong. This one, no, no, okay, okay. That's a total. Yeah, kind of high consumption, but uh, it's minus 12. It's been quite cold for the whole trip. And then uh, here we see that we have 28 degrees or 33, I don't, I don't know how you look at this. Yeah, and then the real state of charge is 19%. So, yes, let's plug it in. Oh yeah, we're charging 58 kilowatt, 65 kilowatt. Oh, 68. <laughs> 200 amp, oh yeah. 68 kilowatt. Yeah, the maximum I've measured is uh, 72 kilowatt. But you see, unfortunately, these charge. Uh, sorry, I don't want to go outside. It's too cold outside. 
Unfortunately, these charges are very rare in Norway. In other countries, I'm not sure for the rest of Europe, but uh, like I mentioned, there, there are only three sites in Norway that has these. For the rest of Norway, we have, well, I, I don't know if I can show it here. This one, this one. They had the Phoenix contact, which is just 125 amp. So even though this one, well, it's kind of misleading. It says 75 kilowatt, but it's actually only 50 kilowatt you can pull out of it. Or technically you can pull 75 kilowatt from it if your battery has 500 volt in the pack, but no car is like that. What the heck is this? Why is the heater pull? What? What? I mean, let me just uh, adjust down. This pink bar here is the PTC heater. It's pulling 3.5 kilowatts. <laughs> it's not using the heat pump right now for some reason. Hmm. Man, Dumbo is like a ghost town at night. Almost no one here. We have Frisch Cafe closed. Jaffs closed. Kiwi closed. Uh, there's some kind of shopping, small shopping mall over there. Closed. Only thing open right now is Circle K. I think they're open 24 seven. And here we have the ion chargers. The church is under renovation. And cars over here, they're idling. <laughs> A, B, C, right? Always be uh, idling. <laughs> okay, let me get some food. at Biuli charging up at BKK yeah so the leg from uh, uh, Dumbos and here was okay see stats 190 oops 190 watt uh, per kilometer but uh, when it comes to charging speed what you can see here I can show you uh, you can see it here yeah that, wait huh? what what the heck happened here hmm hmm what it's supposed to show you charging speed here on this screen. Scheiße, it's kaput. Okay, but whatever, we have leased by. Yeah, no worries, no panic. We are receiving 35 kilowatts. But you see, the weird thing about this car is that if you turn off heater, let me just check here. Okay, let's see, 35, right? Okay, right. turn off the heater. 37 kilowatt. I mean, the battery is overheated, so it's not pull. I mean, that's why we are only taking 35 rather than 45 kilowatt. You see, we're pulling only 100 amp. It's, it, it has about 120 amp available here. But you see that with the leaf, uh, even though uh, we have more power available, the charging goes faster if you turn off heater. So if I turn on heater again, this is one of the few cars that does this. Most other EVs I'm showing you will pull extra power from the from the charger, given that it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> keep bumping into the camera. Given that it has extra power available, so this is actually, in a way, I I think it's like a design flaw from uh, from Nissan that they did they didn't do like this. You see now it starts ramping up the heater, and then you see that the charging speed here drops. So, uh, I mean, uh, it means that for, uh, I mean, this is particularly bad for leaf odors because you have overheating battery that charges slow. But then if you want to have heater on, it will charge even slower. So that we choose. You want to charge fast or you want to freeze. Yeah, you see now we're down to 35 kilowatt again. It just took a little while before it uh, yeah, ramped up. But okay, so I I think I need to charge a little bit. Uh, yeah, 35 kilowatt is, I guess, not too bad. Uh, but uh, 
The plan is to go to Trollwall, which is 38 kilometers from here. It will take about half an hour. Uh, I want to check it out at night. I have to check it out at night. I've never seen Trollwall at night. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, it's starting to clear up here. You see, we can always almost see the moon now. So, yeah, supposedly, according to the weather forecast and the weather map, if we keep going south towards Ondalsnes, it will clear up. So this is the first time I stop here at Bjorli. It's, uh, it's a common place for, uh, for cabins. I think my neighbor has a cabin over here. So lots of cabins. This is cabin land. And of course, it's very nice to have fast chargers here. And we are just behind uh, Bundpris, which is a grocery store. But as everything else in Norway, it's closed at night. So, uh, yeah, not much to show you. Bjorli is the place to be. We have been charging for half an hour and we are at 84%. Well, 84 on that screen, 85 on this screen. But we're down to 24, 25 kilowatt now. So, yeah, I think we're good to go. Man, why do I feel like I've been charging a lot on this trip? But let me show you a little modification I did now. Actually, since Dumbos already. I put the window shade on the rear here and it helps big time. Actually, when I've been driving today, I feel like it's, it's cold from the windows here. So, man, if, if I can get double glazed windows like in the Yitron, I would definitely get it. Not primarily for noise, but just for heat insulation. But okay, let's unplug and head down to the lowland. We are now at the troll wall. It is windier than expected. According to weather forecast, it's supposed to be just a very little wind, but man. Okay, so here is a troll wall. It's kind of hard to spot it. Yeah, the camera has problem focusing on it. There, there, there. So it looks weird now because we are using some, uh, uh, yeah, we boosted up the sensitivity quite a lot on the camera. You see, it is night now past midnight uh, but we have uh, moonlight so it looks just crazy the landscape over here yeah but I'm going to shoot some time-lapse hopefully it will be fairly stable but it is quite cold outside so let's see yeah and then the troll wall that one is hard okay let's try here yeah, let's give it a shot We are back at Bjorli, so uh, I figured that a time lapse takes a lot of time. We have to set up the camera, focus, find the right composition, find the right location. So, all right, I only managed two sets tonight. But uh, anyway, so now we are charging again. Oh, we're getting pretty good speed here. Almost 49 kilowatt. Well, the heater is taking a little bit. Would be 50 kilowatt, you see. These plugs, they can supply 135 or something uh, ki uh, amp, so uh, they are slightly faster than, you see, if you can choose, if you have a leaf and you can choose between these Delta chargers or those FSEC or ABB or Tritium, go for this one because they will usually give you 5 or 10 amp more like you see here. So anyway, <laughs> after the time lapse, the battery got lots of time to cool down. So, um, I mean, I don't need to charge. I could go straight to the sleeping point, but uh, I wanted to test now because you see it's minus 13 degrees outside. I want to heat up the battery and see how much it cools down during the night. 
and also I need to prepare the bed anyway yeah it's uh, yeah we have to start preparing for the seats and everything we have been charging for 22 minutes we're down to 35 36 kilowatt again so yeah good to go so let me show you now in the back here I have covered most of the windows as usual yeah uh, the bed is ready so uh, the trick is that uh, to get a flat bed in the leaf you have to put something in the in the trunk area so i put another box there <laughs> yeah i can show maybe tomorrow and when it's brighter outside so um yeah i'm sure okay so the plan now you see we are here at Biuli, and i'm going to camp there's a there's a resting area just a few kilometers down the road here i'll camp there and then yeah get some oh it's getting late okay let's get going we are at the camping spot it's just right by the highway highway is right over there i hope it won't be too noisy uh there's supposed a toilet here but it's closed for the winter so the car is just parked here yeah i'll turn on the light wow moonlight Ooh. wow pretty cool landscape here uh, and it's minus 13 so let's get inside Ooh. okay so Now let's get ready for camping. So let's see, I can switch off the light now. Uh, the, the leaf doesn't have a dedicated camping mode. So why does this one keep switching over to? So we just have to do it like this. Uh, but as long as the car is on now, it will stay on. Oh, minus 13 degrees outside. So all we have to do now is lock the door like that. So no one can enter the car and rape me at night. And about this one, should I leave it on auto or maybe tweak some settings? I think I want to tweak some settings here. Let me see. Mode. Maybe use this one. Maybe turn down that one a little bit. Maybe turn down the temperature 21. And that should be fine. And then, okay, okay, let me reset this one. Okay, so it's uh, 3.30 at night. I'm going to reset this one. Yes, I'm... I'm uh, yeah. So now it should start counting how many kilowatt hour we spend during the night why, why is it going up so fast what hmm? what the? oh i see now that see the cars are passing right by there but that's fine i guess why did it start at 700 what hour where, where is the reset button uh, suddenly Okay, whatever. So we have 78%. Now, oh yeah, this is one of them. Okay. So we have 39 degrees Celsius, just like my body temperature. Yeah, let's see now, during the night, how much it cools down. <laughs> okay, I have to lower to 20 degrees Celsius. Fan speed one. It's nice and warm here. Yeah, so... Okay, ready. Now I'll just crawl on the back. I put on all the window shades. Let's see how many of them will fall off during the night <laughs> yeah so that's gonna be it then good night <laughs>